ADC here. I'm on my way back from work and I thought I'd take this time to give you a little bit of a Dago update. Uh, well, we could say he's out of danger now. And um, uh, we, we, we still don't know about the, the poison stuff, but basically, I mean, uh, he's out of danger. He's still pretty weak, but uh, he's, he's getting better and he'll get out of it. Now to tell you about that uh, uh, that diaper thing that I was mentioning, it actually is a pretty simple story. Uh, I get my little newspaper here. Oops. I was a very impolite person, didn't want me to help. Okay, get my newspaper. Okay. So actually, uh, Simple story, like I say, my wife took a, a whole, uh, an old set of underpants, cut a hole, cut a hole in there for uh, for Dago's tail, and uh, put a sanitary napkin uh, for the dog, and that worked actually very, very well. Walking through actually uh, what's going to be the advent, the advent market, they're still setting it up actually. So there's not much that you can see for the moment. I'll maybe take some pictures of that later on. So, yeah. Uh, Chris asked the question, what uh, What do we think, uh, uh, what would have been a dream, you know, when we were children? Uh, what would we have wanted to have done in our life? Maybe we've realized, maybe we haven't actually. Well, my dream probably wasn't to be a vlogger. Uh, in the in the train station, but that's actually what I'm doing right now. And um, well, actually, one of my uh, dreams at the time, uh, living in a small town, was related actually uh, to traveling. I wanted to travel a lot. And in a way, I've managed to accomplish that dream, but only I would say to to a point, and I'll come up to that in a moment. But I mean, yes, I mean, by, I could say I've accomplished in a way because I'm living in a foreign country, having been brought up in Canada and now living in Switzerland, having lived and uh, having lived in England before. But actually, uh, one of the reasons that brought this, I would say, dream on was I used to read a lot of books uh, in, the, in the village where I lived. I mean, it comes in large part from, uh, I would say, being, coming from a family with relatively uh, simple means and uh, you know we never took many vacations when I was a child. Vacations meant visiting uh, relatives and sleeping there. So I mean you know books were a source of, um, or a very important source I would say of uh, travel if you know what I mean, virtual travel but travel nevertheless. Now one of my favorite books, I mentioned it before, is Travels with Charlie from uh, John Steinbeck. And uh, the, uh, the book there actually is that Steinbeck, he just goes along and uh, I'll just show you a little bit around. Yeah, so he just kind of goes along uh, with his dog in a camper and visits, uh, we could say, small town America, like Charles Carroll, you know, visiting America. And that is a dream that I really would have wanted to do one point in my life would be to just take a camper and take a, a year off, I don't know how long it would take, but to, to do that, to visit, I would say, the, uh, should I say, the, the Mayberries of uh, Canada, the Mayberries of North America, I would say, things that I would really have liked to have, uh, to have had a chance, you know, to, to see. Um, that would really be a dream. You know, take some time to visit places like villages as well, but I mean also like the Grand Canyon and so on. This type of thing. This is the type of thing that I would really have dreamt to do all my life. And, you know, when you get on in age, you realize well, how much money you would need to do these type of things, uh, be it the time off, be it retirement, and so on. And I get on, I guess it maybe just stay a dream. But yeah, that is definitely something that I would like to do in a way, though, and that's probably why I'm bringing this, is that in a way, YouTube is helping me do this, because in a virtual way, I'm getting to 
meet all these people that I wanted to meet, maybe, in the in these type of situations. Because, yeah, like I was saying, you know, uh, getting to know people through these trips means taking time with them. And taking time with them, well, you have to, uh, you know, you have to be there, you have to chat. And I guess that is something that uh, YouTube is helping me do. I mean, uh, well, I mean, I'm cheating in a way, aren't I? Because, I mean, this is definitely not uh, the real realization of that dream. But it's something that I would really have liked. Like I say, you know, just take a camper, go off, and visit. But not, it's not just visiting. It's like kind of getting a pulse. Pulse of life, wherever it was. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm a Andy of Mayberry fan. Andy Griffin fan, I mean. And uh, really, I mean, this was a type of... Uh, type of small town. Or this type of probably small town nostalgia. That, that really gets me going and I suppose that's why up to a point I mean that I would like to do something like that well I mean that is a dream and you know going through my books when I was a kid a lot of the times I mean we had to uh, at least in my books I mean I would be in the Grand Canyon like I said before and in the you know visiting these Pueblos and so on where probably it would be more in New Mexico and Arizona and these are the type of things that I would really like to do once in my life. But, uh, you know, how it is. I mean, uh, you only have one life here and you only have a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time. So maybe it'll stay at the level of dream. Who knows? Maybe one day we can have a south tube in a Pueblo or something like that. Well, yeah, I guess that's about all for now. Uh, yeah, I see I'm already at seven minutes. I should shut up now. So this is DC signing off and take care. Close this video.